Hello, Hamlet. <clears throat> I'm back, bringing you another midweek update. Today is July 2nd, and wow, we are already halfway through 2020. This weekend, the 4th of July is Saturday. The summer heat is upon us. Wheat harvest is here. And yet we are in the midst of uh, our regular everyday responsibilities as we try to continue to walk through these health measures and these directives really to ensure best practices concerning the coronavirus, the health and wellness of our community and the people around us. Um, I want to make you aware on July 22nd, Southwest Nebraska, including our counties, the counties that we serve as Hamlet, entered into phase three, the opening process, uh, the reopening process for Nebraska, which means this weekend we are able to participate in Sunday school and we've added some more seating to our worship center. Some familiar things are returning while other things are still kind of uh, at bay. So we'll continue to keep the offering in the foyer, and uh, we're going to continue forward with our communion Sunday, this Sunday. Uh, communion will be celebrated using single-serve contained wafers and juice, right? Uh, kind of the motto that I'm running with through this whole season is slow and steady wins the race. Really, I want to focus on communion and prayer this week and, and bring you um, something to kind of resonate with you as we prepare for this coming Sunday. Uh, our communion and prayer service this Sunday, we are going to take some time and, and pray specifically regarding the Holy Spirit, right? And the work of the Holy Spirit in our community and in our lives. And if you were with us last Sunday, Rob Douglas shared a message on Acts chapter 1 about how the work of the Holy Spirit or the filling of the Holy Spirit really is necessary for the body of Christ, the church, right, and the ministry to move forward and onward. And so I want to encourage you, if, if you're unfamiliar with this or, or this seems new, go back and listen to his message on our website or on our YouTube page. I'll post it also on our Facebook page. Because this Sunday, we're going to walk through some of that. And we're going to walk some of through, the, through some of the practices that Rob put forward. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really impactful Sunday. And I, and I can't wait to really invite the Holy Spirit to be working in and through us as we, as we move forward in sort of this season of transition for everyone involved. A few other announcements I want to bring to your attention. In the past July... Uh, was our Volunteer Appreciation Month and our, our month to sign up for volunteering for the next year. And although things are, are different as far as volunteer needs, we're going to still be posting on our website and on our Facebook page a volunteer sign up for everyone who would like to help out and serve in various ministries at Hamlet. We cannot reach nor can we impact the lives of people without the help and the efforts of our community members volunteering their time and their energy. And uh, so, so be on the lookout for volunteer signups. Um, and we're asking everyone who is willing to sign up, even if you volunteered in the past to sign up. This is really the opportunity we're trying to gather who's comfortable, who's willing to serve, where they're willing to serve, so that as we move forward, as things roll out and move on and move forward into the future, we can ask people. We don't want to ask anyone who's uncomfortable. We don't want to make anyone uncomfortable. We don't want to do anything that, that really puts anyone in a position where they feel like they have to compromise on, on their comfortability and, and where they're comfortable. So, so we are um, really looking for people to sign up and that will give us a baseline of how we can how we can have people serve in our community and where we need people to be serving in our community and where people um, are comfortable serving in our community. Also, we are looking to update our community contact information. One of the outcomes we noticed from the coronavirus was that our contact list is outdated in our community. And the most significant piece of contact information for us to communicate with people is through email. And so we're asking for people to help us update email addresses. 
And from there, we can update other uh, contact information. Um, so the best way to help us in this process in updating our contact information is um, you can go to our website, go over to our website, head over to our website and uh, click on the about tab and then contact. And from there, there's an email link to the executive administrator. Um, click that and email your current address to us and we will then send you another link to update the rest of your contact information so we can ensure that you are receiving the most current updates and the latest happenings at uh, Hamlet. I also want to let you know that we are moving forward uh, with ministry. And so on Saturday, July 18th, Hamlet is hosting a kids event in Juanita Park from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Central Time and 8 a.m. to 11 Mountain Time. It's kid-focused, but parents, grandparents, and older kids are invited to tag along and, and hang out. This event is called Launch Your Faith and is an educational, kind of a practical application, hands-on time for kids to learn about Jesus, learn about following Jesus. We're asking people to pre-register, uh, and pre-registration is encouraged, but it's not mandatory to participate. It just helps us with ordering and getting uh, the necessary materials, snacks, and details all put together so that everyone can participate in, in, the, in the best way. You can register on our website at hamletunionchurch.org. Uh, we'll also be posting a link later on on our Facebook page to register. I will have more details. We will have more details, more announcements coming soon as we get closer and closer uh, to the launch date um, on July 18th. And there's exciting stuff. There's impactful stuff. There's a lot of community stuff and enriching stuff that, that is beginning to happen and we are going to be getting to roll out. I really look forward to seeing all of you this Sunday and in future events as we continue to sort of reach into our community and and reach into your guys' like lives so that we can intersect and, and once again begin to hang out. Um, enjoy this weekend. Enjoy the 4th of July. And may the God of peace guide you through the rest of your week.